What's up? What's up? What's up? It's guys. It's just getting more ready. What's up, you guys? I love you. You're the best. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're having a great, growing, blessed, and prosperous day, you guys. Uh, it's so good to be in the land of the living. Don't you agree? Okay. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy. If you're new to my channel, click the like and subscribe button. Click the thumbs up, thumbs down, just not the two middle fingers. Okay. Okay. I love you. You're the best. Look, you guys, we have our shipment of Bonnie plants in. Now, you know my original plan was to start my entire garden from seed this year, 2020. And for the most part, I've done that. These are my first transplants besides the strawberry plants. Shout out to Lisa Lax for those. And um, they just arrived, you guys. I ordered them last week. And I have several varieties. And they were about $14 per tight and you get two plants of each so hey the garden paid for this not me okay okay don't forget to check out the with me commercial you guys it's doing well so let's just dive into it i could not open these i said i wasn't gonna do no video today but i couldn't keep it to myself oh i I had to make it for y'all i said i was not gonna make no video today i told nobody but i I said I won't go make one. Oh, I, I couldn't keep it to myself. So I had to open this in front of y'all so y'all can see exactly what's going on when you order the bonnet plants. And we're going to put them in our raised bed that we prepared, you guys. Okay, okay. So let's just jump right into it. First, let's just open the bigger box. And you can use a pair of scissors. If you don't have any scissors, pick you up a little garden steak. Even a stick, it doesn't matter, y'all. It'll pop right open. Okay. Okay. And I don't know if y'all still seeing me, but this uh thing popped up on my screen. And I don't want it there. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and gently slice this open up top. I don't know how tall the plants are or anything, you guys. My first time ordering uh Bonnie plants live. So we're just gonna open them up. And you guys, when I say if you have scissors, use scissors to open them up or a stick or anything, you guys, you'd be surprised. Everybody ain't got a pair of scissors just lying around all the time. For real. Okay. So I'd be trying to give y'all some cheap, uh, easy ways to use what you have. Oh, okay. They have these two plastic things on top. Your invoice, I mean your receipt. And there's a plant parenting 101 instruction sheet, it looks like. Yeah. And then in the box, it looks like this. They're in individual plastic containers, which I love. This is so neat. And as you can see, there's two, four, six, eight, ten in here. And it should be four in there. Because everything was a two pack, you guys, for $14. Everything was a two pack. So I guess they've given me two of everything. These are our Bonnie green bell peppers. And as you guys can see, they're already growing. And with the weather we've been having, I always have a backup plant. So I ordered uh, just a few plants online. Okay. Okay. Because you always keep a backup plant, you guys. Who knew that frost was going to come through like that? It didn't affect me that much, but it affected a lot of people. So you got your bonnie plants. Yeah, you got some of them are coming out of the container. Okay, you see that? This is the container they come in and the plants look like they survived the transport quite well, I might add. So we're just gonna dive right into this video. We're gonna be transplanting our bonnie plants. So let's look into the other box. Again, they have more plastic at the top, instructions. And these are tomatoes, you guys. Tomatoes. 
Oh, they're beautiful. These are my husky cherry tomatoes. Okay. And then, I think these are some more peppers. Red bell. I love that transport package, you guys. That is awesome. They grow them to the perfect size. So yeah, I have a lot of different varieties. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get you in the ground with me. I love you guys, you are the best. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new to my channel, click the like and subscribe button, you can do it. So I'm gonna get you down in here in our raised bed that we uh, conditioned the soil yesterday. And you see how easy it is to dig down in there? Okay. Now, spacing. You want to give your plants space. So what I'm doing is measuring out the square foot garden. Okay? And you can do this multiple ways. If you don't have a ruler at home, don't worry about it. 12 inches is from here to here, right? Let me turn it this way. So on my ruler, 12 inches is from here to here. That's one foot. So I'm going to put it down here. So I'm going to measure this is one foot right here. So I can just draw a line with my hand. Okay? This is 24 inches right here. So this is going to give me my spacing. Okay? I'm going to put them a foot apart. Here's 36 inches down here. 48. So on and so forth. So that just gives you your starting base right there. Now, if you don't have a ruler and you're not sure measuring out a foot, a foot is 12 inches, you guys. Your normal sheet of paper, I'm going to use this receipt. I had a piece of paper already ready for you. Just to give you a quick tip. A normal sheet of paper, office paper, you know, normal paper that you get in the mail or a letter or anything, is 8.5 by 11 inches. This being 8.5 inches across and this being 11 inches long way. And I work in an office, so you know, you guys, if I put it on my ruler, where it stops at? Right there. 11 inches on the dot. And if I turn it this way, where does it land? Right there on 8.9, 8.5 in the middle, you know, between 8 and 9. So this is 8 and a half by 11. And if you need to start your garden, 11 inches, if you're one inch off, that's okay. Put that piece of paper right there and look where our line is. We pretty much got it dead on. We got it dead on. And all I'm doing is just throwing some of the clumps out uh, of this bed. And I'm gonna show you just how to transplant your plants real quick, okay? So this is 11 inches, if you wanted to measure like that and make you a line. And then take your paper and do it again. And make you another line. And then you can space your plants a, a foot apart. Or if you need eight inches, do this. If you need four, fold it in half. <laughs> if you need five and a half, fold it this way. Okay, okay, you know, make it work. So let's just go ahead. I'm gonna put, this This bed is in a, a totally sunny spot, you guys. So I'm only gonna do a couple plants. I'm gonna do a, a pepper, and I'm gonna do a tomato for you. So this is our cherry tomatoes. Now I'm gonna put this plant towards the back end, this area. This is a husky cherry tomato. Now you can be fancy and use your shovel, which I'm always losing my shovel. And if you saw the video yesterday, you know this soil is conditioned and we've done everything we're gonna do to it. So again, here's our line. That's one foot, okay? And then going this way, me knowing what one foot is, I can just go ahead and make my mark. But I'm gonna put it right here can you guys see me? Let me get you all the way down here. Okay, how about that? So, you can do it like this, y'all. You can use your hand. You know me. I like just putting my hand down in there and let it do what it do. And you're simply just going to gently squeeze it out. There's a little few roots here. Just like that. And this is a bonnie plant. Husky cherry red tomato. And it's indeterminate. Indeterminate meaning it can grow as big as it, as it wants to grow. 
as big as mother nature wants it to grow determinate tomatoes get a certain size flower give you fruit and then they they go on about their business but these can grow as much as they want so I'm just uh, gently breaking up the root ball putting a little bit of the soil from the plant around it so it feels at home you guys you know if you move into a new apartment somewhere you take something with you that you love and this plant must love this soil because it's doing so well in it so I'm gonna make sure it feels at 